Greeting, this is Ahmad from Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about conditional formatting in Excel. Conditional formatting is the very good function in Excel which provides us many capability in Excel. Conditional formatting provides us too many functions in Excel. By conditional formatting, we can do the filtration and markup by condition format. For instance, if you want to do the markup by conditional formatting, first select your criteria or selection range, then go and do the markup greater than 15%. Don't have any markup, but markup. And the other things you can use it for instance top 10, bottom 10, and other filtration. Also, you can show the progress with conditional formatting for the each cell. As you see, I do the markup for progress. Let me to zoom it. But maybe better to remove one of rule. Right now, you can find the progress by conditional formatting. Also, I can change the color of it. Use the gradient or use the full color. It's up to you. Maybe you want to use the traffic light or arrow sign too. Look at this. These are available by conditional formatting. But, if you like, you can draw a gun chart like this by conditional formatting. If you want to draw a gun chart, for instance, you need a start time, finish time, and you should f use the formula for conditional formatting in order to draw a gun chart. Let me to add another gun chart update. Look at this criteria. It created by conditional formatting. Let's do it together. First, you should create your format. You need to start and finish, actual start and finish, activity name and WBS name, and also timetable. It is better to create by a little bit timetable, like which I created, only, only 41 days. And I split it, so I'm going to show you the plan, actual, summary, actual, summary, and data date. Okay, let's do it. I create a copy without any conditional formatting. Okay, let's do it, conditional formatting together. You need to go to the new rule and go for Use formula to determine which cell to format. Equal to, open the bracket, use the AND. This is our time scale. Our time scale greater than start. And I use the freeze. Look at the formula, please. 
and the start time scale I mean again freeze less than finish it means that I want to draw a gun chart between a start and finish and I close the bracket then I go to the format select the for instance orange and I'm going to select the selection range for all activities then I apply it sometimes it happens it's not applied correctly you need to come back to your formula again and set up again okay H1 H1 by C1 and again H1 by D1 I need to recheck it H1 by C4 I made a mistake and H1 by D4 okay right now it's corrected I check the criteria, it's corrected. I edit the rule again H1, C4, H1, D4. Okay, right now I need to write another one for the another rule for. WBS. This is the plan. So let me to use the WBS guideline. Its summary is supposed to be green. Use the AND H1 it's greater than. WBS and again H1 by change the freeze is less than finish date on a WBS and close the bracket. Then I'm going to select the criteria and apply it. Unfortunately, my formula is change it, change again. H1C3 and again H1D3 okay right now it is corrected I should change the plan color to the orange And what about actual? 
the formula is same but you need to only change the different format for each one of them I want to use pattern for actual which color this color is good okay but what about formalize equal to and again start from time scale greater than greater than actual start and time scale less than actual finish and close the bracket and select the range the range is similar to the activities and apply it I should correct the selection Right now is corrected. And also for actual summary, we have another conditional formatting. A different pattern. And what about formula is equal and I hope this time is not change and less than actual finish summary. And I need to select the range. Let me to do the modification. And the last item is data date. I add a new rule. And let me to first select the format. Equal to and. My time scale is greater than my data date, but my data date is freeze. And my time scale is less than, again, my data date. Right now, all of formula completed, but as you see, my last formula is not work. This is our conditional formatting for this sheet, but 
this one is not work because for the data date we need to add equal is greater than or equal we want to present the current date so we need to add equal this is the data date if you want to change it you can change it let me to change it over here then it's changed it. it is completely interactive gun chart and you can use it like what you see keep in touch with global project control for more excel and p6 tutorial i hope this lesson is useful for you Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can follow my hashtag, Global Project Control, in order to find all of my lesson in the same page. Thank you for your subscription in my channel.